हेलो एवरी वन आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू द न्यू सेशन ऑफ टेव टाउन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोन लर्न अबाउट द बेसिक सी एस एस सिलेक्टर्स सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई टॉट यू हाउ टू इम्प्लीमेंट सी एस एस इन डिफरेंट वेज सो देर वेयर आई थिंक थ्री डिफरेंट वेज इन लाइन इंटरनल एंड एक्सटर्नल सी एस एस सो इन टू दिस वीडियो वी आर गोन सी हाउ टू इम्प्लीमेंट दिस सी एस एस सिलेक्टर्स दिस बेसिक सी एस एस सिलेक्टर्स इन अवर एस टी एम एल पेज okay so css selectors are used to select the tag which you want to style so this is the basic like meaning of selectors so why we use selectors just to select the tags like just to select the tags which you want to style okay so this is the basic definition of css if you want to tell to like any interviewer or all the all that okay so there are basic two selectors first one is class selectors and second one is id selectors so what are, what what is the difference between this class and id selectors so we are going to see that with the help of uh, examples as well so just to give you a theoretical a bit a short of idea like what is the basic difference so whenever like let's say we are writing class name in inside one tag and in internal style sheet how to access it so for accessing it we need to use this dot to dot represents the class name and class name is followed by dot so dot class name and then curly brackets and inside curly brackets we can write and denote our properties in key value pairs okay same goes for id selectors but instead of dot here we are only using hashtag with followed by the id name okay so how to do this okay so you will get the idea when we will see the examples so let us directly jump onto the vs code for seeing the examples okay so i have i have opened this chrome browser and vs code side by side so in vs code as you can see i have opened one index.js file and in browser you can see it's empty now because i haven't add any tag here so let's say i am adding h1 tag okay and our most famous line of any programming starting hello world so i am writing hello world and one exclamatory mark and i am saving it so you can see hello world is coming here okay and below that i will add some another tag let's say div and i will add here i am dev town okay let's say i am dev town okay i guess so how to apply this class and id selector so let me start with class selectors first of all so i need to pass this class equal to and in double inverted comma i need to pass the class name so let's say for this i am passing a name class name as heading so how to select this tag so for that as you know in theory theory i have used dot for selecting class followed by class name let's say dot followed by heading and in curly brackets you can write the properties in key value pairs so i am writing one property that is border and border is followed by one pixel solid red so you might be wondered why i am writing this one pixel solid red so whenever you like hover on border so you might be able to see so syntax syntax should be let's say okay one pixel solid red so syntax it's a syntax so one pixel is the like width of border solid is the like the density of the color which you want to apply and here is the color okay so it's 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 a very simple syntax no issues we will get to know about this in our later videos as well so this is border you can see my h1 tag is getting applied by this border property okay and let's say i am giving the id name to this second div okay so uh uh let's say i am giving the id as second here and how to select this id by using hashtag hashtag followed by the id name and rest is the same like curly brackets and i need to pass the like okay so border one pixel solid and i am passing here the blue symbol as well so i am just increasing the width to 4 just to showcase you the color as well so yes you can see my color is blue applying to the second div tag like first div tag but it's a second tag actually okay so this is a very simple demonstration of how you can style how you can style a particular tag using this id and class selectors okay so there is one selectors apart from this that is tag selectors 
okay so this tag but this tag selector's preference is lower than this id and class but let's say i am just passing h1 and border one pixel solid the green let's say and i am just increasing the bit to 3 i am saving it but you you might say ki why it is not getting applied to our h1 tag so this is just because this green this green color like like this h1 tag attribute so its preference is lesser than this uh, class and id selectors okay so let's say i am just commenting out this heading like uh, our class selector so i am if i am saving this now you can see that my 3 pixel solid green border is getting applied to this h1 tag why because i comment out this like uh, class selector particularly okay so this is the preference okay so i will just show you by writing so let's say i, I think in the previous video only i told you ki what is the preference of getting like this how to apply how styles are getting applied by this preference okay so i am writing down here it is so external css has been given the first preference no no not first preference okay okay so inline styles are been preferred first after that we can prefer internal style sheet and after that external style sheet okay but here i am using h1 tag so h1 tag is preferred after this class selectors okay so if i am removing the comments and just saving saving it so you can see it is getting applied the solid red border and not this uh, green wala border okay so it actually matters how we are writing css okay are why are we, we are getting external okay no issues so when you just need to comment it down okay guys okay so as you can see we are getting blue and green color so apart from this i also have one attribute that is so let's say i don't want to use this class and id selectors and i just wanted to apply the same properties to h1 and div tag so what how to select that so just you just need to write the tag name by like comma separated let's say and you just need to save them so you can see the green color is getting applied to our whole uh, h1 and div tag as well and let's say i am just giving text align and center let's say i am i am saving it so you can see the text is also getting aligned to the center of our page or web page okay so this is the basic to select both tags or multiple tags using their tag names as well and apart from this we also have one attribute let's say i don't want to use this also so let's say i want to apply same same style all over the page okay so no matter how many div i am creating let's say i am create creating another six let's say six divs and in that i am as this writing the random letters let's okay something random okay no issues see you can see there is some like text is coming okay so if i wanted to apply the characteristics to h1 and div as well like throughout the page so i will select star and followed by curly brackets so let's say i am writing here text uh, align and center let's say so i am saving it so you can see whole whole text are whole text in our web page is getting aligned to center so by using star you might be able to see that i am targeting the whole like whole of the tags which are present on my html page so in this way we can use the star and later on apart from star what we have here is yes let's say so i am just giving you the inside insider uh, information of our next video let's say okay so i am just removing this got it so let's say there is one div inside this div okay let's say there is one h2 tag okay and here is right return i am dev town okay and here is return ah uh, okay and inside div here is return let's say vikrant so these are next state tags as you can see because h2 is inside div tag okay so i am just saving this now you can see i am vikrant and i am dev town is coming so let's say if i want to target h2 with the help of this div tag so how to how to write that so i am just showcasing some of the future concepts here that are not 
ओके गाइज ठीक है सो हाउ आई विल राइट इट सो आई विल राइट हैश टैग सेकेंड एंड एज एज वी ऑल नो एच टू इज इन साइड दिस पर्टिकुलर डी यू सो वी जस्ट नीड टू राइट दिस ग्रेटर दैन वाला सिम्बॉल ग्रेटर दैन वाला सिम्बॉल एंड एच टू सो वॉट एवर अमाउंट ऑफ एच टू आर प्रेजेंट इन इन साइड दिस पर्टिकुलर हैश टैग सेकेंड लाइक द सेकेंड आई डी नेम सो दैट पर्टिकुलर ऑल टैक्स विल गेटिंग लाइक विल गेट अप्लाइड एंड अफेक्टेड बाय दिस स्टेटमेंट लेट से आई एम राइटिंग हियर बॉर्डर वन पिक्सल सॉलिड रेड नाउ आई एम सेविंग इट सो नाउ यू कैन सी आई एम गेटिंग द रेड बॉर्डर ऑन आई एम डेव टाउन नॉट आई एम नॉट ऑन आई एम ऑन विक्रांत ओके सो दैट इज द थिंग सो दिस इज सो यू कैन कंसिडर एज टू एज चाइल्ड ऑफ दिस डिव okay so these in this way this next state loops like this next state tags and we can apply next state tags css as well so in the later video in the upcoming video you will able to see how to use these combinator selectors and another different types of selectors how the siblings work okay how the siblings let's say we want to apply uh, like uh, the CSS to multiple tags with the help of single code. So we can also do that. There are some CSS functions. So all that matter we will be we will be covering in our upcoming videos. So I think I hope you guys got the today idea, today's idea that our class on ID selectors. So yes, I will see you in upcoming video. Thank you so much, guys, for watching and bye bye.